I often start making a picture by bringing some objects into the studio. You know, I, I start by trying to get uh, this object to sort of sing for me. Uh, and that process is, uh, is in some ways sort of self-contained. But, but then, you know, once, I, once I've shot the film and I, I take it to the processor and get it back and scan it, then I, I'm left with this relationship uh, to this object that I was attempting to have, you know? So I was, I was attempting to, to relate to this, to this thing through, through drawing his picture with the camera. And, and I think that, uh, that sometimes there's a gap there, a space there where there's more that can be done or more that can be considered. And that's where the computer comes in. Whether I'm making a, a straight photograph or an unmanipulated photograph or a photograph with a lot of manipulation, I, this is my process. It goes camera, scanner, computer, you know? And so the computer uh, can be very active. And so if I see an opportunity within, within the picture making in the computer, then I'll go ahead and take it. So you say that you start by bringing some objects into the studio. How do you choose these objects? I've, I've said before that I really like objects that have a kind of pathetic quality. But I think there's some objects uh, that are sort of really made to be looked at. You know, that that's sort of, um, uh, it's sort of in their DNA. Uh, and other objects that really aren't, you know, that, that refuse that somehow or that, uh, that might be, uh, that there's still, there's still something left to be discovered in. And I, I think that those are the objects that attract me more than others. So let's take as an example the strawberries, for instance. Can you run us through how you made that? Sure. Uh, those two pictures? The, the strawberries photographs are two photographs that, are, that start with the same two negatives. One negative is on top of the other, and then on the other one, the, the relationship is flipped. So it started out by me bringing these sort of strawberry candies into the studio and sort of arranging them on a table into a, into a field that sort of just took up you know, a, a space in front of the lens. And I really like objects that sort of act like photographs, you know, that sort of are imitators of, uh, of the things that they're trying to be, even if they're sort of, uh, I don't know, not so convincing. And so I, I made this picture of the candies, and, and they, they actually sat on my table, I think, for a day or two. Uh, and I, it popped into my head that maybe I, could, I, I should replace them with the real thing. And so, you know, I think at that point, you know, it's like this problem has gotten set up. And I, I did, I went and bought some strawberries and, and sort of took the candies away and, and replaced them with the strawberries and, and made another photograph. And at that point, I didn't know whether maybe they would be just two straight photographs, you know, that would, that would sort of hang out together or how they, would, uh, how they would end up, how I would end up drawing that relationship. But what ended up happening was that uh, I, I thought about them through this overlay of one sort of taking the place of the other. And so their, uh, their titles are Fresh Forever and Forever Fresh because they're, uh, the forevers are the candies and the, the fresh ones are the fresh ones. So the, uh, in, in each of the two pictures, they have the opposite relationship.